Hi everyone, uh, my name is Sintil. I would like to share my experience um, about the quarantine in Singapore. I just traveled from New Zealand to Singapore and I traveled in just three days before. Yeah, it's around like 11th June something. So what happened like once my flight got landed in Singapore, um, I just proceed to the uh, arrival section as usual, no issues. So all they did is just scan my temperature in the once I exit from the airplane. So that's the first formality. After that, there are some health professionals. They are just standing in front of the immigration, and they started collecting all the information um, about me in high level. And they are also ensuring that you know I submit uh, the pre-arrival check-in form which I think is called uh, E Singapore SG arrival card, something like that. I don't know exactly the name, but yeah, so some kind of, you know, uh, online form to fill in our uh, arrival information. And those who are coming from uh, overseas to Singapore, they also need to fulfill uh, one more form to talk about the, uh, the quarantine facility, like, you know, they just you just have to fill in the form and then they will they will get a kind of a SHN letter once they completed the form. So that's the formality. So we need to complete those two before you come to Singapore or even if you forgot to do, the professionals will make sure you know that you are doing it. So once this done and simple as it is, like just proceeding to the, um, the immigration counter in arrival and this time there is no automatic scan, you know, scan through facility, right? So the officers will be there and then you'll have to just meet them and then they will make sure, you know, you have all the visas, citizen or permanent resident or even work pass holder, right? So you have all the information. Once done, then you're proceeding to the next stage, which is as usual, you know, just collecting your bag. So the good thing is they will try to bring the packages from the conveyor belt and then keep it outside, not outside, keep it, you know, just near the conveyor belt. So you don't need to you know, jump around and get your baggage, which we usually used to do it before, right? So that's a really good service. Um, safety as well, you know, from for me and everyone. And afterwards, um, if there is any custom declaration have to be done, then, you know, you'll have to do. If nothing, then we can proceed next. So from the exit of the glass door, you will be, there will be a path, goes so the end up uh, maybe a parking or exit where there are plenty of health pro professionals there. That is where you know they are trying to um, uh, complete the registration of getting the dedicated quarantine place or so-called hotel. So I, I just they just scan you know few information and then after that you know I got a SMS saying that you know like my hotel facility is uh, available. I, I wasn't aware about the name of the hotel until uh, I reached the hotel. So what they did, they just uh, requested me to get into the bus. So there are one or two buses available. So whoever comes in the same flight, like me, we were asked to take the same bus because everyone has been you know, uh, quarantined in the same facility. So that's the objective maybe. So there is one more bus, probably that person may be coming from a different uh, overseas uh, destination. So, yeah, so all the seven passengers, including me, we were proceeding to the um, government dedicated facility. Um, I thought like it's going to be some normal hotel, probably maybe some dormitory or maybe hostels. But surprisingly, it's a really good hotel. It could be either five star or four star. I have seen this hotel many times from the outside, but I never get a chance to go inside because of the you know, the cost. So I'm staying in Shangri-La, um, which is Sentosa. Let me show you <coughs> Sentosa Resort. Rasa Sentosa Resort. Yeah, so Shangri-La, Rasa Sentosa Resort. So that's the. <coughs> Hotel where I'm currently staying now and started from 11th June all the way two weeks probably you know another uh, two weeks you know I have to service in terms of facilities really good because got a 
bed and then the big, all the key features which are required to work from uh, home or work from office or work from hotel that's a new concept like work from hotel so pretty good pretty good so in the day one oh in addition to the homestay right you will also get the um, so the, i thought like homestay um, the hotel i need to pay by my own but uh, surprisingly um, it's it's taken care by government so government is really taking care of their people very well and whoever is uh, obey the rules that's important right so in addition to the hotel uh, uh, hotel uh, stay or accommodation fees they're also covering me uh, three meals in a day okay? breakfast lunch and dinner um, no other coffee extra but yeah this is good enough they have some some you know like a kettle to heat the water and then we can make your own coffee if you want or you can order from your uh, in dining uh, facility as well laundry also available three days once um, which is good and what else laundry uh, if you want to bring any other food or anything out from the outside which is possible so i use uh, grab delivery so whatever you want uh, uh, you know you can get it in your room so just a five dollar or six dollar you know, depends upon the delivery fee or uh, sorry i use lala mo grab delivery is very complicated so i couldn't you know complete the uh, the, the form something like that so i better to use the i use the lala mo so you may use anything whatever you want and so every day um, they were asking me to take the temperature so i take the temperature and it's uh, it has some memory so you know they ask me you know that i had to submit they will be calling me and i will have to submit the information and in addition to the temperature scanning right there are um, there will be a call a whatsapp call uh, or maybe direct call. i think whatsapp call because i'll tell you why so there will be whatsapp call coming from ic initially i thought that whatsapp call is probably somebody you know is trying to you know uh, fake me calling from the fake uh, number and then try to you know uh, steal and some information no <laughs> they are ic because they are not asking you know uh, all too much information all they want your all they want is some your identification basic identification and they wanted to make sure you are literally inside the room so that's their objective and they ask you to switch on the video just face is good enough and then probably they want to ensure that which hotel i'm staying which room i'm staying so i just have to show the video you know, put the camera towards the phone so all i need to do just stand the phone here and if it is visible then that's it so i see verification is done in addition to that there may be a uh, visit uh, from either ica or uh, probably some community center uh, or some some authorized personals will be coming into your door and they will uh, you know give you the ring so all you need to do is just make sure you know you wear the mask before you go uh, open the door because sometimes there will be people right so uh, so that's it uh, very simple and life is going as usual where i was in uh, new zealand you know i have uh, some similar situation for the whole month so i don't feel much difference um yeah although you have all the facility but you will not be able to enjoy the facility because i'm not coming here for a vacation right so that's fine uh, so i got a tv but and it has a plenty of channels so like around 20 30 channels so for the nationality is like definitely they will be able to you know uh, get their own uh, language so it's really good and in terms of serving the meal um they will just simply uh, place all the uh, you know the food outside in the some small chair and then they will uh, press the hall calling calling bell and then they'll go away so you will not be able to see the people you know who put the in the, uh, the food and then you will not be able to talk to them also which is good in terms of um, uh, safe distancing and yeah so they have a locker also uh, yeah towels basic toiletry items so it's all available so everything ah they have wifi free so wifi wifi is also you know uh, available so from 11 june i think today is 13 june so today is today is third day and so far everything goes well and um, first two days it was so excited but 
from today onwards, you know, it's going to be just normal, just normal person, you know, <laughs> working from hotel. So let's see whether you know if I uh, come across any interesting thing, then I will try to make another video. That's up now. Uh, that's it. Thank you, guys.